was going to say, you got so close, so close, but uh, that might be an opportunity to do something special here, but Team Liquid Alienware, let's, let's be real here, right? They have complete control of the zone. Fluffy aimers are going to have to move first into the open, and this is just surely a matter of time. Should be. Coming all the way from bar barometer south, Liquid Alienware, this is a great rotation for them. It was slightly closer for the fluffy aimers from Lightning Rod, so they should have really got to the end game, and they do achieve that, so they'll be happy, but now it's about trying to do what looks like the unachievable here. But Liquid Alienware being very patient, maybe don't have the information that it's a two, but you imagine the scam would have caught two. But again, even knowing it's just a two, you don't have to force this. You can play it patiently. You can be on the back foot for a short while and just say, let's make them come to us. I mean, Chase Mob is trying to hit a big shot. You can see he's looking for an angle. They're looking to isolate Yanya as much as they can, but then the smoke's going to go in. Then the scans are going to come through as well. And you can see that Yanya wants to get this game done now. He's going to have to take a second just to pop a battery as the scan is now going to come back. So Ulmer's been popped, of course, by Yanya. He wants to push forward, and now they have that information. It's a duo. You don't have to ask Yanya how many kills. He just wants to win the game. Win the game, Team Liquid Alienware do, and that will be the... ...alongside it. Now, on the flip side and on the lower half of the leaderboard, yeah, probably is going to be that. But then suddenly, if you pull all the way over to the cross, and I'm expecting we'll see Catalyst Walls galore, but with no real way of predicting who will come out on top, who will survive, it'll be up to, I suppose, the Apex Legends Gods, the Ring, whatever it may be. Whoever or whatever you pray to, now is the time to start doing it if you're in this lobby and trying to make it another two spots. Yeah, try and keep up with this kill feed because we've got four teams all going to be scrapping against one another. Disguise do go down. Cloud9 making their move. NGNL also get eliminated. And suddenly, now the ring starts to get involved as well as the ultimates as Cloud9 down to two. And we're just going to keep losing members. Six squads left. We're going to make it five as Oblivion go down. C9, clean up a few kills. Get shield swap. Still have yet to approach the gravity cannon. And Native have finally moved in. Snipe down, gatekeeping everyone. Taking out Temper, taking out C9. And Complexity fall as well. Leaving us in the final 3v3 after all of that, Gaskin. It's Native versus LG. And who'd have thought it with the positions they found themselves in? I said it was going to be a pivotal fight earlier for Native. And now they want to try and push up on this damage they are swinging onto lg trying to get that angle because lg are weak and they have their tails between their legs here sweets already down and just like that with the nice use of a head peak native game is tough when a circle shifts away from you if you have predicted that it was maybe going. no now that it is going to be a zone between and you going to be the closest to them so those two teams are going to have to exchange fire so might be an opportunity here for the uh, the new pickup boys to uh, to be in a position to close a game out here, which would present them with some points that they really haven't been able to pick up so far in the games that we've had. A couple of players are going to go down on that low ground as NG now are kind of forced to make their play, but the Bleed Esports, surely this is just a case of moving through the, uh, the open, cleaning up the pieces of this fight, but Oblivion get it done so quickly that maybe this isn't as simple as they would have wanted. The bail goes down to try and deny them doing anything too drastic as far as moving through the catwalk and taking some ground from them but I believe these boys surely in their position to get a first win here if they can just clutch up play these rocks and with an evo advantage as well then you surely think this has to be theirs and look how different the leaderboards look with the top two at the moment for bleed i said from zeus they've been struggling but now they have a game with a real opportunity of finding a victory here yeah, really good shots coming in here from Shuby as well. Not overextending, making sure he's peeking, making sure he's poking, and it will indeed be Bleed Esports. In the next page and on the bottom 10, we did see one of our... Bleed Esports, of course, who won that last game. They're going to be very, very happy because it looks like it might be pulling... ...to move in such a way that they wall off Cloud9 from being able to shoot at them. It'll be timing dependent, certainly. But it is, I would say, LG and C9s both their one hope of being able to survive, perhaps even. Well, LG, LG, LG might be able to go towards the center of Skyhook. A couple options, a couple options, but nothing one too certain can, yet on set. One thing they can do is just hope that Sykes hits a big headshot, and that's going to give them a little bit of space and a little bit more time to make a decision. The catwall goes down, and that's a smart decision from LG, because they will be able to play this little balcony a little bit longer. Now, are they going to eat this, or are they going to get behind the Watson gem, which has been left behind by another team? So all of a sudden, LG have not just got a little wall to play, a little corner to play. Whoa. They separated the zone perfectly. Bleed Esports are going to be forced to fight against C9, and surely this is going to be the win.
win here for LG. If they can close this gap now, the Cavill goes down, the Bono is popped, and LG might be about to get their first win of the day here. But should be down. It does look like LG are dominating this fight. It was a quick 3v3 up against Cloud9. Kills and placement. And it's, it's looking like it. In fact, I want to take a look at the teams that perhaps... How's your no-name finishes? Do you think this one's going to pull over to... Here right now, some longer guy. These guys have to push towards us. To you later. Yep. We have to focus this team on height, please. I'm not safe yeah, on I have a god spot on them, bro. Just show. Yeah, I have I'm a really, really good run. I'm coming to you, Funk. I'm coming to you. Yeah, play my left side. Play my left side. Get ready for these kids up there to run out in front of us. We're hard safe, like, right on our rock on this corner. It's kind of awkward, though. I'm going to bang out left. I need a better sight than a fucking 2x, right man. Oh, I have 28 heavy, by the way, guys. 28 heavy. I left, left, left. Get ready to hold left. 70, 70, I got. Get ready to hold left. Down here as well. They're walling. I'm about to bang out them. Turn the wall on the wall. Right here in the Bang out thing. I'm saving Remember, there's going to be a duo walking up the tunnel below me right here. Where are we playing? Like, right here? Oh, over here on me. Over here on me. Over here on me. Yeah. Above the tunnel. Okay. Everyone's going to be in the middle of the open. They're in the top tunnel. Right there's going to be a duo. We might kill the duo real quick. Kill the guy. Can we scan right below and kill this duo? Can we kill anyone here? I can't. I can scan the on our left. I already scanned another. Kill that. Kill left. Kill. I'm with you, sweet. Kill this. Kill this. Yeah, I'm killing it. Cracked. Nading. Right, Both on the ridge. That's a full three. It's a full three, bro. Nice. Last one. Deal. Deal behind. Deal behind. I'm pulling for the rest on the ridge. Almost cracked one on the ridge. Rising, 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 rising. rising. Play slow, Sykes, if you can. I can swap this. I'm sticking it no matter what. I should have won. Nice. 60, 60, 60. On. I'll come, I'll come. I'm punching him out. Your shit, buddy. Huh? No. At all. However, I've got a whole bottom half of the leaderboard after this match. Of course, no name being a potential finish here. Level position still survive as a duo. We see Liquid Alienware eliminated as well as the rest of the lobby, essentially. LG will not be able to get the back to back to back as TSM stand in a position to have a last stand in this series what a story this would be yeah tsm i mentioned earlier they would need to what finish with seven points in the overalls and have that chance which is finishing top 13 while they find themselves now in 10th position so they have been able to come back but oblivion let's talk about oblivion two of their players have been featuring in the challenger circuit for the last two years now find themselves for the first time in pro league and they're in third place but it looks like this might be the end of the game as they do get pushed here yeah, this is going to be NGNL versus TSM to win the game. But look at the space and look at the angles that TSM had. Last time we saw them in this lobby, it was a TSM win. Today, it won't be a series win, but game six will belong to them. TSM, save their day. Gaskin, that's where things do get a little bit more complicated, especially if you are a repeat 